Hello everyone, welcome back to another Apple Tree Surfboards Tech Talk video. And today I'm going to explain a little bit more about epoxy resin v polyester resin. Now polyester or PU, I mean PU is really about the foam core but a lot of people address the boards as PU boards or in epoxy a lot of people talk about EPS boards. Now EPS and PU talks about the core but it usually goes hand in hand with epoxy resin or polyester resin. Because the main difference is this, if you use an EPS core you cannot use polyester resin because the polyester resin will melt away the core of the surfboard. Uh, I'm not going to go much deeper into that, but the only thing is you have to realize that if you have an epoxy surfboard, epoxy surfboard, fix it with epoxy resin. If you have a PU surfboard, you can actually fix it with epoxy and PU or polyester resin, but it's better to fix it with polyester resin. But how about these resins? Now, polyester resin is quite a bit older than epoxy resin and it's been used in surfboards for a long, long time. The main reason for this is it's, it's got a really nice and lively feel when the board is new and also uh, polyester resin is abundant and it's very cheap and you can get it everywhere. And this is a reason why a lot of surfboards are still made from PU foam and polyester resin. Now there's a lot of downsides to polyester as well. The biggest downside by polyester is that it's, it degrades. So when a board is new, it's really nice. When it's like a year old, it's still okay. But after a year and a half, it really starts to degrade. The resin starts to become fragile. It cracks when you, when you, when you hit it with something or it taps on the floor. Uh, even if a board is not used, the, the resin will still degrade. So if you grab an older board, it'd usually be yellow, but if it's uh, kept in a box or something, it might still be white, but still, if you squeeze it a little bit, you shouldn't squeeze a surfboard, but if you do, you will hear it crackle a little bit. It's, it's really brittle material. The other thing about polyester resin is it's really smelly and it's pretty bad for the environment and it's also really bad for the people working with it. So that's one of the biggest reasons why we don't use any polyester resin in our factories is worker uh, safety and worker health. We still use respirators and everything and safety measures but we really don't want to use this smelly old polyester in our factories. Now over to epoxy. Epoxy resin is harder to work with, uh, it's more expensive, but it finishes a, a board way, way stronger. So epoxy resin is a lot tougher and a lot more flexible because it absorbs the impact uh, instead of shattering. And the other great advantage of epoxy resin is that it doesn't degrade over time. So our boards will remain strong even if they get a little bit older. Now the disadvantage is that epoxy resin will yellow out a bit quicker than polyester resin, although polyester resin also gets really yellow. Uh, epoxy is just like a little off-white or not as clear as polyester resin when the board is new but the, the advantages are so much more important than the disadvantages. And another key thing in epoxy resin and another key thing for us as Apple Tree Surfboards is that epoxy resin is available in a bio-base uh, version and that's the only version that we use. Fortunately, it's not 100% bio-based. Uh, currently at Apple Tree, we use a version that is about 40% bio-based or bio-content. The rest is still uh, petrol-based, but at least it's a, a good step in the right direction for, uh, for making a more sustainable surfboard. The other thing, of course, it makes a stronger board, which naturally makes a board more sustainable if it will last you longer. So what you should mainly remember from this is if your board is dinged, fix it with the right resin, the resin that it's made of. Um, and an epoxy resin board will outlast the polyester uh, board all the time. So I hope this was informative and uh, see you next time at our next video.